Hopefully I am in focus here. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be something that was actually requested on Twitter. Some of my subscribers wanted to know if I would do an updated what's in my bag video. I think I did one, I think like more than a year ago. It's been a really long time, so it's time to do it again and I have a different bag. So this is the Balenciaga Day Bag. It's the hobo bag that has an outer pocket. It's really deep so you can fit a lot. You can pretty much fit my entire life in here. I think I mentioned that in my December favorites and some of you wanted to know what was inside. So today it's full of the stuff I normally have in here and I'm gonna share it with you. So let's dig in. All right, so the first thing that I see is actually a nail polish and it's the nail polish I'm wearing right now. I have this thing, especially from traveling or I'm away from home for a couple of hours, you know, going to the gym or running errands. Nails can change really easily and I hate that so I tend to carry the color that my nails are painted at that moment with me so if they do chip I can do kind of like a thin coat and fix it till I have the time to change my manicure and this one is actually the SC good as gold it's a nice metallic -y gold that was perfect for this time of year the winter season I just wanted something gold on my nails and I have some shimmery sparkly glitter from kale polish and casino night as kind of like a statement on these two nails right here and yeah that's pretty much it so I carry my current nail color in my bag usually I usually have that I also like to carry perfume on hand because sometimes you know you want to refresh your hair or you just want to refresh yourself after the gym again or anything like that but I don't like to carry glass bottles in my bag so luckily one of my favorite scents Pink Sugar has their fragrance for the hair it's called their hair perfume but it's in a plastic bottle and it basically is the perfume fragrance scent regardless that it says it's for your hair I use it everywhere it's actually described as a kind of cotton candy scent to me I smell more of a caramelly sugary vanilla scent very warm very inviting every time I wear this my husband says I smell delicious love this scent it's more affordable than some of the fragrances out there and again it's the pink sugar hair perfume I love this so much I love it another thing I always have to have in my bag is hand sanitizer and it looks like I'm almost finished with this one this is the Bath and Body Works fresh sparkling snow and as you can see there's like 10% left in here anytime I do groceries or just basically go out in public and touch things like the door handles or the shopping cart anything like that I like to sanitize everything away. I'm very germaphobic, so I always have hand sanitizer on hand in my bag. And I also like to carry wipes. And currently, I really have fallen for this brand, Acure. I think that's how you say it. It's perfect for your skin and for the planet. It's a very nice, natural brand. This one has coconut and argan oil in it. They're cleansing towels that are not only for the face, but they're also for the body. When you feel kind of grimy from being out there in the public, in the wild, you want to just kind of cleanse yourself, especially after the gym too. I like to use it on my arms to kind of refresh and around my neck. So these smell great. They're natural, they're cruelty free, they're paraben free, sulfate free, and vegan. So a cure brand has been my go-to lately. And this is the pack of choice of wiping towels that I have in my bag at this particular moment. So yep. I see I have still in here a Christmas gift card that I got. This was for my mom. It's actually a gift card to one of my favorite grocery stores because I really love cooking and baking lately and I told her about this pricier grocery store around my house. So she got me a nice gift card for that store. So I'll be using it soon. That's why it's in my bag. It's like free money to just buy whatever you want. I don't think it's a boring gift. I love gift cards. So another thing I like to keep on hand in my bag is a book because sometimes you get stuck. Maybe you're at the DMV or you have to wait to pick up maybe your little brother or you have kids you have to wait in line to pick them up. So it's always good to have something to read. You don't always have to have your phone on you. It's nice to kind of disconnect and actually read a book. And there's nothing I like more than holding a book in my hands versus actually reading something on your phone. It's a lot easier and I just love the authenticity of holding a book. And this one is actually the Eat Pretty Every Day 365 Daily Inspirations for Nourishing Beauty Inside and Out. So it has recipes recipes in here teaches you about the power of different fruits and vegetables and how you can mix more color into your meals and just give you a more beautiful uh, outlook on food it helps be beautiful inside because 80 percent of healthiness is what you put inside your body so it kind of helps guide you on what you should be eating what you shouldn't be eating but it also gives you tips on what will help you on the outside as well there are certain foods that will help with your skin I like looking at this it goes through every day of the year in here you can flip to the current day or just pick whatever you want it goes through the seasons it gives you some really fun tips so I really enjoy having this one on hand at the moment and it's from the author Jolene Hart and I picked this up on Amazon I think last year another important thing to have in my bag at all times is a pen this is actually from the brand Poppin. I remember working with this brand on my blog a couple of years ago and I love it because it's bright yellow. I love primary colors. It's a really nice creamy pen but it's not the ink kind, you know, the wet ink kind of pen that smears. It's a regular type of pen but it's very creamy. These pens will last me months and months and months. That's why I like them so I always pick them up and I find mine at Staples and I just like the color and the fact that it kind of goes like 
mustard to my ketchup bag, kind of like that. And I always keep a pen on hand for taking notes or for example, when I'm at the grocery store, I like to print out my list and as I'm going through the store and getting the things I need, I cross them off. Pen on hand and bag, always a must. Of course, I have to have my wallet. This is my Louis Vuitton wallet. I remember getting this for my 20th birthday. It's got lots of room and I love the like, sturdiness of this wallet and it goes with everything. I have a Louis Vuitton bag that matches it, but I love this wallet. So it's pretty much in any bag I use. I have moisturizer. I love to moisturize my skin and my face, especially these winter months. Sometimes I'll even use it on my hands because they get so dry. And right now I've been reaching for the Pacifica Berry Matcha Recharge Face Lotion. It's happy hydration with berry, green tea, and rose. It smells like roses. It smells like tea. It smells very fresh and clean. It's a natural product. I love this brand. Cruelty free again and been reaching for this guy. So this is like my handbag moisturizer. I have this one because it's a smaller bottle. So I figured it just fit better and easier and wasn't so heavy to carry around my shoulders. I have sunglasses because I can't drive without sunglasses. And these stay in my bag simply because they are the most lightweight sunglasses I have. I tend to wear some of my more high-end, larger face sunglasses, but they're so heavy I end up with those little red marks right here. These don't do that because they're so incredibly lightweight. They're from an Australian brand, I believe, and they're called Mink Pink. Not sure if they're Australian, but the brand is Mink Pink, and the style is mile high and i really love them because they have that cat eye design to them and they're very incredibly lightweight so they're my favorite to keep in my handbag for just everyday use i have a random lip balm in here the all may the all may smart shade butter kiss in number 30 nude light it looks kind of corally but it's very very sheer it gives you more of a glossy balm kind of clear look than anything else. It does have some shimmer to it. It's not very pigmented in color, but I like it to just kind of grab for because it gives that hydration to my lips. It makes them look nice and healthy. It does give the tiniest wash of color, but it's very, very natural. So it's basically no mirror necessary and you're good to go. You feel hydrated, you look great, and you feel confident. Love keeping something like this in the little pocket in here just to kind of reach for it when I need something fast. So the last thing in here is actually a little makeup bag where I store the most minimal amount of makeup just in case kind of thing. Cute little black studded bag that has this gorgeous gold detailing with the zipper. I got this in one of my monthly Ipsy subscriptions. I love that they send a makeup bag every month. It's pretty much full of just simple things. I have the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment, just a clear balm. It smells like delicious lemons. It does a great job of glossing, hydrating, and just healing anything that is dry on your lips. It feels really good. It's so, so worth it. I'm almost out. I definitely have to get some more. So I switched up my lipstick recently, and it's actually because of my December favorites video. So I threw in this e.l.f. lipstick duo, the Day to Night, in Needed Nudes because you are treated to two perfect nude shades, a darker mauve and then a soft nude. So they're very easy to reach for. It's one product. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So that's why I threw this in this little makeup bag. I actually have this little BoxyCharm Times Temp2 Liquid Glow Highlight Cream. I like it because it's very natural and it's something that if you just left the gym and you have to go meet friends or have a lunch date or something, you just put a little bit on your cheekbones and blend it in, maybe down the bridge of the nose. You look a little bit more glowy and healthy, so I like having this on hand. It's a lot easier to manipulate and work with versus a powder highlight, especially if you're not wearing any other makeup and maybe only have some moisturizer on your face. And I like to mix this actually with the face moisturizer in my bag sometimes and just give myself an all over glow and you just look healthy and it just looks a little bit more radiant and less flat and dry. I have two more lip products in here. So I have the Infallible Pro Matte Gloss from L'Oreal. I've had this for quite a few years now. I love the shade. This is actually a second one, I think, in the shade Nude Elude, which is a nice kind of pinky mauve. It veers more pink than it does mauve, but I really like it because it gives your lips a nice healthy punch of color, but it's very comfortably wearing. And then I have the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Seduction, which is a beautiful dusty rose. This does dry, I would say semi-matte. I don't feel like it's 100% matte, maybe like 85% matte because it doesn't really feel drying or pulling on the lips. It feels very comfortable and I love the color payoff. It's a really gorgeous color. And this used to be my go-to every day for work. I loved wearing this when I used to work at Ulta because it was a natural, easy to wear nude. It pretty much went with any eye look or any makeup look. And again, it's in shade Seduction. And then the last thing in here is a facial mist. I think I got this with some point perks on Sephora. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. It's basically a facial mist that's gonna help kind of revive the skin, replenish it with hydration, and just feel good all over. So I like to keep a little thing like this for my face to kind of mist throughout the day, and it's small enough so it's perfect for my bag. 
All right, so that's pretty much it. That's everything that I had in this bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks to those of you that requested it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel so I can see you guys in my next video. I have something that was requested for me to film next week so I can get something new up for you guys. If you have any other requests, don't hesitate to comment them below. I will read them and hopefully get to them very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you before you know it. I love you. Bye, guys. Mwah.